Do you think Disney Springs Boathouse is overrated? Well, we're gonna go through all of that on today's video. Now, before we jump right into that video, I just wanna make sure that you can hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for me. It helps other people who are trying to plan that Disney vacation find this content on this platform a lot easier. And it just helps the whole community. It helps us grow as a solo traveler and adult theme park traveler community. And I appreciate it so much. So let's go ahead and get into that Disney Boathouse review here in Orlando, Florida. There are many top restaurant locations you can dine at while in Walt Disney World. However, only a few of them can offer you what you can get at the Boathouse in Orlando. The Boathouse is more than a restaurant as many Raven Disney fans who have dined at this fancy location at one time or another would confirm. Rather, it is a spot where you can get the best of the food, drinks, while having lots of fun and enjoying an amazing atmosphere created by the amenities yes, I did say, amenities offered at this restaurant. As a matter of fact, many reputable media outlets, including the USA Today, have at one point rated the Boathouse as one of the best restaurants you can visit while at Walt Disney World. Although the meals are great, there are other things you should consider while you are visiting the Boathouse. The first thing is the world-class menu. Many fans, including myself, are always raving about the quality and the taste of the food offered. Serving great meals must always be at the forefront of every restaurant on your trip. And this is why the Bow House always dominates in this area. It's known for its amazing seafood collection, meaning that you'll get the best of oysters, shrimp, fish, and salmon, all in one location. In fact, the Boathouse Orlando is known to have the largest collection of oysters in all of Florida. Even if you're new to the oyster life, like I am, the staff at the Boathouse will guide you to the best options. That way you'll have a great experience trying oysters for the first time. The next reason why we all love the Boathouse is the waterfront dining. The Boathouse is literally built on water. Well, especially if you sit outside on the dock area. This was the ideal of building a world-class restaurant at Disney Springs where you can enjoy the best meals and have drinks in a cool New England ambiance. So if you want an amazing view, you can easily just sit out at the waterfront area and have dinner with your significant other, with your friends, or on your own personal solo Disney trip. The next thing that we really love at the Boathouse are the Amphicars. I mean, you cannot visit the Boathouse without seeing this classic and outstanding unique addition to this restaurant. Automobiles are always a great way to take in a boat cruise dining experience at Disney and such an awesome and very unique experience that you can have at any of your travel destinations. Plus, the captains are always there to make sure that you are safe as possible and that you can still enjoy your experience on these amphicars. Now, another thing that we all love about the Boathouse is the amazing ambiance. Like I mentioned, anybody who has ever been around bodies of water would have to admit that there's always something so magical about being in that type of environment. Now, sit back and imagine a body of water where you get the best of food, and drinks with the charm of Disney. Now that we have the basics out of the way, let's go over some things that you should know before you visit the Boathouse. One of the questions that I am asked is, is there a dress code for the Boathouse restaurant? In spite of its sophistication and elegance, the Boathouse restaurant actually does not have a lot of restrictions when it comes to the dress code. While some other signature restaurants at Disney World insist on a dress code of some sort, you can wear your theme park attire into the boathouse and it won't be an issue. Another question that I am asked is, how much is it to ride the Amphicar at the boathouse? And just like many things in Disney World, you know that nothing really comes for free. This means you will have to pay for the Amphicar that will take you on a ride through Disney Springs and it usually costs about $125. That price 
only covers a 20 minute trip, but if you are doing Disney World, you're doing it the big way, and you just want to get the full experience of Boat House, then you have to do it. Try it, the infant car ride. I promise you, you will enjoy it. When it comes to the food, I want to go over some of my personal experiences before I ended this video. One of the first things I tried here at the Boat House was the lobster bisque. This dish stood out the most to me because you know when you're making lobster bisque, you have to have the right consistency, the right texture, and the right flavor profile. And this is what the Boat House delivers on every time. I can't really tell you any kind of negativity aspect about the lobster bisque because I enjoyed everything about it. I cleaned my bowl and there's something that I really have to get every time I go to the Boat House. The next thing that I did try was the crab cake. And if you are a crab cake fan, like I mentioned earlier, then you know that you want crab and not just bread. And at the Boat House, they will deliver that to you a hundred times over. This crab cake was stuffed to the brim to the point where I just, like, I, to the point where I was like, I am not going to finish this. This is just too much. I can't eat this, and that's what you're going to feel. Of course, the flavor, it had that crab cake flavor. It was good. It wasn't anything too spectacular for me to rave about as far as the flavor profile. It was good, but I think what topped it off was just how much crab meat that you got. The next thing that I did try was the firecracker shrimp, and again, the Bow House has mastered the art of flavor, presentation, and heat. Everything you will enjoy with this delicious appetizer. If you've ever been to Bonefish and you had the Bang Bang shrimp, then you will kind of understand what this flavor profile is. However, it is not as heavily breaded as the one at Bonefish, so that's why I choose the Boat House Firecracker Shrimp over the Bang Bang Shrimp at Bonefish. The next thing that I did try was the Filet Mignon Sliders. This was an absolute surprise in flavor profile and taste. I did not expect to have such delicious beef and meat. I just expected another standard slider and you just eat it and you go about your day but the, the meat was so good, I could have took the hamburger buns off and just ate that filet with my fries and I would have been happy. This is a must try. If you're not into seafood, but you come here, get the filet mignon slider. And the winner of my dining experience was the strawberry shortcake. I'm not a dessert person. I usually am too full, but I made sure that I saved some room for this dessert. And this is something that you must try. It's good for sharing. Even if you're on your solo trip, you can eat this. Just go ahead. D dive in. Just go ahead. Dive in. Do it big. You're on a solo trip. It doesn't matter. But if you are with family and friends, this is just as great to share. And I, I love it. I have nothing to say bad about the strawberry shortcake. It comes with the biscuits as usual. It is topped with whipped cream and the biscuits were pretty moist at my visit and the strawberries and that syrup texture was just absolutely incredible. While I was there I did try a couple of oysters. They were pretty mild and I just want to thank my server once again for not making me feel so um, inadequate in choosing any kind of oysters. It was a great fit for my first time so always just check with a cast member and have them recommend something based on how experienced you are with trying oysters. Don't forget to try some of the famous cocktails like the margarita, especially out there on the bar area. It's just a great ambiance. You can watch the sunset go down while you are in Disney Springs overlooking the lagoon. Now, before we end, let's talk about the price. In terms of the price, the Boat House can be quite pricey. But in regards to the overall experience at the other signature dining restaurants in Walt Disney World, it's a pretty average price. I'm going to say it's not cheap, so expect to spend about $30 per person, $30 to $35 per person, and that's on the lower end if you're kind of getting something basic with water. But if you're really trying to do something bigger, you want to try like appetizers and untrained dessert and something to drink, then you're going to spend some coins. So just keep that in mind. You can always check the menu out, get an estimate cost before you get there to kind of know what you're going to do. As far as the Disney dining plan, 
when it was active, right now it's temporarily suspended, but when it was active, the boat house was on there. So if you do have a Disney dining plan on your visit, most likely the boat house will accept your Disney dining plan. But like I always say, please review to make sure that your Disney dining plan is accepted. You can use annual pass holder discounts here if you have that. And if you have any other type of discount, it doesn't hurt to ask. Always just ask. Tables in Wonderland, just double check. Things are always constantly changing. So what do you think? Do you think that it is worth it? Do you think it's worth the hype? Is it overrated? I want to know. Leave me your review of the boathouse in the comment section below. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. I want to know, do you believe the hype or do, have you been there and said the hype is real? I'm curious and I really want to know. But if you have any other questions, feel free to join us over on the Theme Park Hipster Facebook group. There you're going to join other solo theme park travelers, other adult travelers, where we just discuss some tips, we discuss some kind of like trendy things going on at the park, and we also ask some like curious questions just to see where your head is, and if you like things like, you know, the boat house. So we do those kind of questions there too. Once again, I want to thank you for taking your time out. I do not take it for granted. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I just hope that I can make your traveling to Disney a lot better based on the information provided. Until next time, happy park hopping hipsters.